Antigua here and thank you so much for stopping by my channel. So today I did want to do a foundation tutorial for beginners. I did go a little in depth about the primers and brushes you could use for your skin type and what kind of coverage you would like. I unfortunately did not show different types of foundations like a mattifying and a luminizing foundation but we'll explain this right now so a mattifying foundation is normally geared for oily skin since we do need the mattifying properties of a foundation to keep our oils at bay but that does not mean that someone with dry skin can not use a mattifying foundation you just need to find one that works well with your skin type and there's also luminizing foundations which are normally geared toward dry skin. They normally have a hydrating property inside of them, which normally will not work with oily skin. You would normally get oily, I wanna say within a few hours, maybe even minutes of applying the foundation. But that does not mean that oily skinned girls and guys cannot use a luminizing foundation. You just need to make sure you find the one that works with your skin or primers can help with either one of these situations okay so let's get on with the video first I wanted to start off with primers so I do have two primers here I do have the Too Faced Primer and PG cool matte perfecting primer this is a good mattifying primer and it also fills in the pores I also have the YSL Touche Clot blurring and illuminating primer. This one is good for illuminating the skin and it does give you that nice glow. The Too Faced Primer and PG Primer would be best for oily skin since it is a mattifying primer and it's not very moisturizing. The YSL Touche Clot Primer would work best for dry skin. It is very slippery, that's why I would not recommend it for oily skin unless you have a mattifying foundation on top. This is not very moisturizing though, so I would use a really nice moisturizer under it if you do have dry skin. Now let's get into applying the foundation. The foundation that I will be using today is the Cover at Flex Power Play Foundation and I am in the shade G50+. This is the only foundation that I have found so far that matches my skin tone perfectly, my undertone and everything. And it's also a mattifying foundation which is perfect for my oily skin. I don't find it to be too drying though so I want to say it would work best with combo skin. I would probably grab a sample if you do have dry skin just to test it out because it may or may not dry out your skin depending on how dry your skin is. I always like to start off with taking a little bit in the back of my hand. So since it is a squeeze tube, it's not a pump. I do like to take... about a pea-sized amount and what I like to do with this is dip my hand into it and just dot it all over my face. I am going to start with one side of my face first and my mirror is down here that's why I'm looking here and I am going to do one side with the sponge and one side with the brush just so that you guys can get the two effects that it does have. So I'm first going to be applying it with the brush. So when you're using brushes, especially a brush like this, you do want to start off by stippling it onto the skin.
And what I like to do after is just buff it around. And let me move a little closer so you guys can see what that looks like. And now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side but with the sponge. So I'm just going to take that pea sized amount again. And we will be dotting this as well. And I'm going to be using the bigger side of the sponge and doing the same thing, just stippling it onto my face. And the sponge is damp, by the way, I don't think I mentioned that. Now let me move closer so you guys can see. So what you will notice is that the side with the sponge is a sheerer coverage. So if you guys do like more natural makeup, do go with the sponge. The sponge is also nice since it does have this tip, so you are able to blend in your concealer as well. If you do like a more fuller coverage, go with the brush. I typically do like going in with the brush, just because that's what I am used to. Next, you can apply your concealer. There are two ways to apply that as well, so you also have a brush. This is the Sigma Tapered Kabuki brush, the F86, and you also have a beauty sponge. The concealer I will be using is the CoverFX Power Play Concealer in the shade G Plus Medium 2. The easiest way to apply a concealer is always to apply it directly onto the face. So with the tip, I am going to just do a few dots, and I do want to highlight my face. And the more concealer you use, the more coverage it will give you. And that does go with any concealer. So on this side, I am going to use a brush, since this is the brush side. And I'm just going to be stippling that on as well. And as you are playing with makeup, you will find that some products work best with a brush or some may work best with a sponge. It just depends on the product and what kind of finish you are going for. And there is the brush concealer side. Here is the concealer versus the non-concealer. Now I'm going to be doing this side with the sponge. And 
And the tip of the sponge is always the best to use. Just lay it flat against your face and just stipple it on. Just like we did the brush. And this is the concealer with a sponge side. So you can see a difference. I want to say that this side does have a little more full coverage. Since the sponge does soak up some product, I would have to have used more concealer on this side to get the same effect as this one does have. And just so you guys do know, if you guys do like a fuller coverage of your base, you can just use a little more foundation or get a foundation that is a little more full coverage. Or if you do like a sheer coverage, just use less foundation or a foundation that has sheer coverage. And I want to say you always get more full coverage with a brush than with a sponge since the sponge, the sponge does tend to soak up some of your product. And always remember, you do not have to use any of the products that I am using in this video. This is just what I have on hand. You could use anything you have at home, or you could go to your closest Ulta. They have um, drugstore makeup that you're able to actually swatch, so you could get the feel of them. And they have higher-end makeup that you can swatch as well. I want to say that's where I normally get my stuff, because you could swatch them there. It's better than buying them at Target or Walmart since you are able to see exactly what they look like and what they feel like and all of that. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed watching and learned so much today. Thank you!